So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to finish in this game. It's not necessarily exactly how to finish, but it's how to finish in every single scenario. I know a lot of people are having trouble finishing in this game and trust me, you guys should really just do this because it's going to help you so much in terms of every single scenario that you're in. One thing I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat is that finesse shots in this game are basically uh, the way to go. Finesse shots across the net uh, from the certain angle that you're in is definitely the best way to go. The way that you're going to want to do this is you're going to want to go you're going to want to go to play then you want to go to skill games and uh basically you're going to have basic defending shooting um goalies so you're going to want to go to shooting shooting will be available to you after you do the basics do the basics it's not really hard to do um and then you're going to go to shooting and you're going to want to go to advanced shooting now advanced shooting is where you learn every single scenario so it tells you even here as well. It says, use your skill to score in as many scenarios as you can. I played this uh, advanced shooting tutorial basically for like one hour. Because when I first got this game, especially for the first week, I just couldn't finish, man. Like, I, I made the opportunities happen. I just couldn't finish, right? And every game has their own way of finishing. And the way that I kind of learned was uh, that finesse shots are, best, are the best way to score in this game, in my opinion. So... Uh, you can use across the shot goals. Uh, you can try to go near post, but the way that I see it is that I feel like shooting across with a finesse shot is definitely the way to go. And before I get into this actual like tutorial and show you like the different scenarios, I'm, I'm probably not gonna score every single time. But again, it's it really helps you practice every single scenario. Even pass like even practices your passing. Like it, it allows you to practice your passing. Sorry, because the bots actually defend pretty well. So if you can get past the bots, which is easy but not easy, um, it'll help you so much in terms of finishing and creating your own chances. Now again, with this, try to get a striker that has 4 star, 4 star. When I say 4 star, 4 star, I basically mean in skill moves and in weak foot. Because you're going to want your striker to have a good weak foot so that like, if he does take a good shot, for example, I'm going to be using Real Madrid, so they're going to have Benzema. Benzema is 4-star, four 4-star. Four if he finesses with his left, it's almost as good as finessing it with his right because he's such a great player to use and his shooting stats in general allow him to finesse really well with both feet. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what you're going to want to do. So I'm going to go in with Ronaldo and it's basically going to give me different scenarios. So I'm not going to get every single situation right here, but basically in this game, the biggest thing that I can promise you guys is that one thing you're going to really, really realize when you play the skill games is that ball rolls and finesse shots are basically everything in this game and having a striker that's four star four star is everything as well it's the most important thing to have four star on both things one of the most important things ever and the reason being like i said before is because you have to be able to finesse in like no matter what situation you're in if i want to if i'm on the left side and I want to cut in and finesse with my right, I should be able to do that no matter what. Now, if I use a player like James, who has a really bad weak foot, or not a really bad weak, it's, it's not terrible, but it's not the best, right? I wouldn't want to use him in my team because he doesn't have a good weak foot. Like, that's just how I am. That's the way I think about things in FIFA. Um, I just feel like you know, having a four star or four star, five star, five star, four star, whatever it is, is just so much more helpful than having a player that doesn't have a good weak foot and skill moves because of certain situations. Like the reason why I like four star skill moves so much is because of the scoop turn. The reason why I like four star weak foot is because of the finishing. Cause I can finish no matter where I am and it doesn't matter. Like I don't, I don't have to like pay attention to the player's stat that often because I know that he has a good weak foot and I know that whatever position he's in, he can probably score because he's good with both feet. So that's why I don't like players like Higuain and stuff. I know Higuain has four star weak foot, but he doesn't have four star skill moves. So doing the scoop turn like that helps you in changing your direction in this game. And it also helps you create openings as well, because if I were to do a scoop turn, for instance, like right here, I have Hamas. I have to finesse with his left foot. Because if I do it with his right foot, it's not going to be as good as his left, for instance. So that's why I did it with his left foot there. As a striker, the biggest thing I could say, and I've already said it, just get 4-star, four 4-star. Four because it will help you out so much in this game. You know, get players like Jackson. Get players like Benzema. Get players like 
uh, Marco Royce. Like, I use Marco Royce as a striker right now, and he's amazing, dude. I love using him because he's just very good at using both feet, and I don't feel like he's a, a bad player because of that. Because he has uh, both four-star, four-star, he just performs so much better. Another thing you guys are going to realize as well is that when you're doing a ball roll, you just want to do a ball roll, and you don't have to touch the left stick anymore in certain situations. So, so let's just say in a situation like this, for instance, if you ball roll, he already positioned his body in a way where he doesn't have, I don't have to hold left stick anymore. So for instance, if I can just find another moment here. So in this instance one here, once I do the ball roll, he positions himself in a way where I don't have to hold the left stick anymore because he's already positioned. So I don't have to do it anymore. Like right here, He's already positioned to take a good finesse shot. And again, that is Ronaldo. So Ronaldo usually takes really good finesse shots. But ball roll and then just finesse. People usually do the mistake of uh, using the ball roll and then still use the left stick in a situation where they don't have to. Because, like I said to you guys, the small details in this game make a huge difference. Now, what, this, what that does is if you hold the right stick uh, in the situation of where you want to ball roll, your player will already position himself to take a shot. Now, you know, take this, take this in the best way possible. If you do a ball roll, but then you use the left stick again in a, in a finishing part of the game, not the, not like the, with, with a lot of pressure still around you, but in the actual finishing part of the game, once you ball roll, sometimes you just don't need to take that extra touch because that extra touch could actually screw you over. But there's also moments where doing an extra touch is a must because your player will be facing uh, too much, you know, in a forward position instead of a, a diagonal position. Because when you do a finesse shot, you need to be at a diagonal position. You need to be facing the keeper at an angle. You can't really do it when he's just facing straight. Because that's more like across the goal shots and stuff like that, which uh, is good, but isn't always as consistent as a finesse shot. So just take into mind, use finesse shots as, as much as possible as you can, and it'll help you out so much, man. I don't always use finesse shots. It always depends on the situation. Sometimes I power the, power the shot, but that's something you have to really learn on your own while playing this. You're gonna be like, as you're playing this, you're gonna realize that maybe finesse shots isn't your thing. I'm telling you that it's my thing and that it's really helpful for me, but it could be different for you. So try out this tactic, go to advanced shooting skill challenge. It will help you so much, I'm telling you guys. I'm just saying that finesse shots are my favorite thing to do. Power shots could be your thing. Long shots could be your thing. Whatever it is that works for you will help you. So don't always just do what other people do. Try to find a way to make it work for you. So that's pretty much for this video today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, I know it's kind of long and very explanatory, but I just want to help you guys uh, in terms of your finishing because I know a lot of people are having trouble with it. And just realize one really important thing. Your player's stats matters so much in every single position and especially with your strikers so just take that into mind hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys for the stream or the next video peace